Hello and welcome to a short video. I'm going to show you today how you can forward data from Python into Datacake. For this example, I've created some fake sensor data, including CO2, temperature, battery, and power. So for forwarding this, we're going back to Datacake and we are going to create a first new device. We press on add device, um, select the API device type in here, new product, and the name will be Python demo product. Press on next. Now we supply a custom serial number. As you can see here in the sensor data, I've included the serial. So we are going to copy this serial, paste this into data cake and the name will be Python device 01. We press on next. As this is a new workspace, you have two free devices available. We press on next, add this as the free device and this will be added to our workspace. We can see the serial number, the product and the product type, which is API. We will open up the device now. This brings us until the um, empty dashboard. And first of all, what we need to do is go into configuration. Then we scroll down a little bit until we reach the HTTP payload decoder section. Underneath this decoder, you can find the HTTP endpoint URL for this product. We are going to copy this now and back into our Python script. To forward data from Python to Datacake, um, we are using the requests um, library. Um, import this and we add a few lines of code to that snippet. So first of all, we are going to call a post request. We can do this directly with that library. Um, we need to provide the URL, which is the one that I've just copied from um, the configuration on your data cake device. And we want to provide data as JSON. So we simply um, enter this um, sensor data object here into the request. We can also print the result so that we know that everything works out in the end. Um, I can save this and if I run this once more, I can see, okay, um, it was successfully transforming, uh, transferring data to Datacake. We can go now back into Datacake and in this HTTP payload decoder section, there is a small button here which says, show me the logs. When I press on that, I can see, okay, um, there was information coming from price and request. And this is exactly the information that we wanted to forward from our Python script directly into data. The next step will be that we're using the payload, disco payload decoder to transform the data and forward that onto the device. But before we're going to do that, we need to create fields um, which store the information in the database. So let's do this um, for temperature, which will be a float um, for CO2, which can be an integer um, for the battery, once more a float. And I think last but not least, the power as well, which is um, a state. So we are going to choose a Boolean here. So we've now added these four fields and we can now continue writing the payload decoder to forward data into these fields. So let's scroll up to the payload decoder section. And the first thing that we need to do is that we need to forward or transform the incoming data from string to JSON. So we are going to create a new variable. Uh, we call that payload and we simply parse this as JSON. And this is encapsulated into the request.body object. As you can see it here on the side, these are the available things that come directly from the request. So this um, Python data is encapsulated into the body parameter and we're going to parse that as the um, sensor payload. We also need a serial number because this payload decoder is running on the product and the payload decoder needs to forward it into the particular devices. So the next step that we're going to do is we are going to define the serial, um, which will be payload.serial because of um, the dot notation here from the sensor data. The next step is routing the data into the particular fields in the database. Let's uncomment this one here, remove this serial number thing, put in serial. And in here, we are supplying the um, identifiers from the database and the value. We can now access our payload.temperature. And now I'm going to copy this and paste this four times because we do have four values which we want to store, temperature, 
CO2 battery and of course last but not least power and when we are done with that we can press on save to save our payload decoder to that device let's scroll down to the database section so here we can see we've created the fields but there's no data yet um, they are all set to zero so let's go back to our visual studio code here and run this small python script one more once more the data has been sent and the response was okay. So if I'm now going to back to data cake, I can see, yeah, there it is. The sender data has arrived. We can use this now as well for a dashboard designer and add some um, widgets, which we want to use to display the temperature, duplicate this, edit this, um, the CO2, duplicate and edit this and also the battery. And last but not least, we should not forget about the Boolean state. So we're going to select the power state in here um, and provide a simple yes and no. Save this, move this maybe a little bit so that it looks a little bit better. The dashboard has been created. Once more, back into the Visual Studio code and let's, for a small test, change some of these values here. Um, going to save this maybe this is false as well um, call it back to data cake and as you can see the data has changed in here so this is all you need to do using the um, requests object the requests library to perform um, a post request on one of the urls from your products if you now have a second device you can directly enter or add this to data cake without doing all these steps once more so for that we are going into the devices list once more we press on add device and instead of choosing an, or creating a new product we are choosing an existing product and then we choose the one that we've just created press on next and instead of using python 001 we create python 002 call this python device 02 press on next pre plan once more and this will be added to our list of devices so right now you can see two different serial numbers but they are both belonging to the same product means that if i now go and access the python device 02 it will have the same dashboard and in the configuration um, the payload decoder is shared with the product and also um, the database fields have been set up so if i go to the dashboard and then back to the visual studio code and simply change the serial number from 01 to 02 and just maybe change some values here um, save this and send this now this will be routed into the python device 02 because of the different serial numbers that's it that's how it works that's how you route information from python to data cake thanks for watching and stay tuned